Welcome to a Fables a Day in which the archivist reviews an issue of Fables a Day up till the final issue, where he will undoubtedly cry like a baby. And there is no restraint on spoilers, so if that's a problem for you, well then go read the series and then come back. On with the show. Fables number 115. Teddy Bear, Chapter 2 of Cubs in Toyland, in which we arrive in a strange and magical land. Snow notices Teresa missing from her room. Teresa, meanwhile, is on the toy boat in the middle of a raging storm in a vast ocean. She wants to turn around, but Blaine the tugboat... Note his name isn't actually Blaine, I'm merely referencing Blaine the Mono from Stephen King's Dark Tower series. Won't. In Castle Fabletown, Spread is questioned about what happened, and she says the Dark locked her away, barely feeding her scraps to try and get her to talk and spill what she knows about the fables. Holt comes around the corner while she's being questioned, and they make a production about how they had never met before this moment, but he would bring her food. Over in Haven, Beast asks Beauty if they can just live in Haven. Elsewhere, Therese and Toy Boat finally wash ashore on an island. Her island. The magic island for her to rule as queen. She is met by the giant mangled teddy bear named Mr. Ives and other broken toys around him. She is now in Toyland, the land of discarded toys. Snow calls for her daughter at Wolf Manor, but no answer. However, Darian, the oldest, knows where she went and tells his mother all about it. Snow gets the magic carpet out to try and look, while Dare beats himself up about not being a good pack leader, and even kind of a bully sometimes. And in Oz, through magic glasses, Lily sees that Buffkin is going to be executed, and she tries to rally the troops. But rather than save him, the new leader of the revolution is all for letting him become a martyr. I'll do what I rarely do for this and give a little nitpick. While I did like seeing Spratt's transformation into becoming who she is now, and the play to get closer to Fables being shown, I feel that it could have worked better as a hindsight sort of issue. There's going to be other filler issues later on, and would have just been more palpable if we got her history, training, and everything with Dark in a single issue after she had already sprung the trap and started her revenge. That being said, it's still not bad. I mean, it does add tension since we know she's evil and vindictive, but honestly, my favorite moment in this is actually the very ending, where Darian finally comes to terms with the fact that he's not been a good leader, and has been, in fact, a craphead. His words, not mine. And something else that just being nitpicky goes, I like that the island Therese finds herself on is Toyland, but at the same time it's never mentioned as the Island of Misfit Toys, even though all the toys on it are broken, and have a horrible backstory we'll talk about in a later issue. But that's just a personal thing I would have liked to see, and it has absolutely no bearing on the story. It may have actually tipped Willingham's hand a bit early. Anyways, tomorrow we continue the storyline, so don't miss out.